Hello RC World, I'm stoked the new BidEye camera just came in. And one thing I noticed right away is the box is a lot bigger than the old box. Notice the difference. Big size difference there. So I'm wondering what's inside the box. So we'll do a quick box opening. I mean really quick. I don't want to take very long. But I'm more interested in the features. So we'll get into the, the new features of the BidEye and there are some big changes. So I want to look at those and see what's going on. Here's some flight footage of the BidEye camera. And as you can see, it's a dual function camera. It can act as an HD recorder recording in 1080p, 30 frames a second, while at the same time acting as an FPV board camera where the pilot can see first person view. And I have an OSD overlaid over it. It's in the upper right hand corner. Now this camera is very light and could be put on small aircraft and including mini quads. And there's some other features too. They, I think they've made up a cable that will now plug onto your PC so you can download the file. So we'll check that out too. Okay, so let's go to the bench and get going on this. Okay, so let's see what's in the box. Okay, first we have the instruction manuals uh, right here. Oh, uh, there's that new cable I was talking about. Let's see if that's in the box. Hey, that's interesting. There's actually, looks like a second lens. And here's the camera. And the mount now is not screwed onto it like it was the original. A strap. Another strap. And this is the balance port adapter for the low voltage detect circuit. A USB interface. So that's what I was hoping for, that we might be able to connect directly to USB now and download the files. This EVA foam material here can be used to protect the camera. Push the camera into it like that. We got the bag of screws like we got last time for mounting the camera. Oh yeah, the wires were tucked in there. So we got the video wiring. So there is all the parts right there. So looking at the two cameras side by side, this is the old one. This is the new one. And I've looked over the circuit board really carefully and uh, there's virtually no difference. I couldn't find anything different about the circuit board. Either one of the circuit boards. Uh, you know, things are still in the same places. And the other thing I noticed was the lens assembly is different. So one way to tell it apart is the lens assembly right here. The new one you can see has a, a lock nut right here so you can adjust the lens and then lock it down. And there's also a screw right here where you can lock it from turning as well. The old one didn't have that. It was actually just glued on with some glue and you couldn't turn it or take it off. So this one can be loosened and the lens changed. So you could put different lenses on here if you want. So that's kind of nice. That solves the problem with any glue getting on the lens. A spare lens is provided by the manufacturer that in the event of a crash you can go ahead and replace your damaged lens by just removing a couple screws. The micro SD card plugs in the same way as before. It just goes in the micro SD card slot right here and then you just press it in and it locks. It's spring locked so it goes right in. There are three cables that come with the camera. One is the USB interface which goes to your computer. The other is for voltage or low voltage detection. That's this one right here. So you can plug up to a four cell battery on there and this port will sense the when there's a low voltage condition. You have to turn that on in the settings for the camera though. And then you have your regular camera that you use for flight which has your video ground voltage and audio which is the white wire. But anyway there's the video and you can see pretty much what it looks like. I just want to see if I can get this video clip off this plane and get it onto my computer using the USB interface. So we're going to do that next. And the file should save automatically when I unplug the power. So now I'm going to connect it to the PC, but in order to do that I have to power it off this cable here. Even though the USB is plugged in to the computer, 
it won't power the camera so you still have to supply voltage over here. Following the card reader mode from the instructions here, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my computer and try to download the files. So let's see how we'll do that. Now first of all, we don't really need this cable. That's that low voltage sense that goes to the camera that you can check your battery if it's low. What we do need is the USB interface, a USB cable, and power. And I'm going to use the power that comes from my... Uh, plane right here, the normal power I have plugged in when I'm flying. All I got to do is plug this battery in. So first let's plug this into the computer. Then I'm going to plug in this battery right here. I'll do that. Let's see. Okay, so there's the file dialog. It just popped up. And uh, you can see in here we've got all the files and folders that are on the SD card on the camera. So if I go in the video folder, there are the files that I just recorded. So I can now move them off. Just move them down here into the into a folder I have on the desktop. Okay, just moving them onto the folder on the desktop. So this USB interface worked really good. That means I don't have to take the camera out of its holder and remove the SD card like this. I don't have to take the SD card out anymore. I can leave it in the camera and access the files through the USB interface. So I really like that new improvement. Here is the latency timer test that I did on my laptop. And it's supposed to be around 60 milliseconds delay time and I'm coming up with 63 milliseconds from my testing. Now for the settings on the camera you can download the FPV tool here. Open that up and when it comes up just uh, pick the directory that you want the settings file to go to. I'm going to send it right straight to the card which is plugged into my computer, the SD card for the camera. So I'll just select that folder, it's H. Now I'll go in and just change these options the way you want. I'm going to leave this one like that. That's for the video format uh, or the video scaling. Video option, I'm using 1080p 30 frames. There are these other options. Okay, and uh, record option. I'm going to stop recording when the card is full. Voltage. I'm going to go ahead and turn the voltage indicator on so it'll warm me when it's at 3.6 volts. That's that little uh, voltage sense cable that had the four pin balance plug on it. Or I guess it's five pins. You can go up to a four cell battery so I put that on there. Okay, next the image option. I'm just going to go with the center one and audio I got the mic turned on for ambient sound and the watermark I'm gonna turn that on and put bid eye camera in there bid eye cam and I'm gonna have it on the bottom right of the screen let's try it that's what it looks like okay so that's done okay once all that's done save the file so the file's been saved and you probably saw it pop up over here right there with the various items. Okay, so I'm going to close that. Now we can put the card back in the camera and just turn the camera on and it should write the settings. Okay, so here's what it looks like with the settings file applied. It's really windy outside right now so I didn't want to go outside. Wind is just blowing all over the place here. But that's what it looks like, and you can see the logo that I typed in in the bottom right corner. So to wrap up this video, let's just see what this low voltage sense cable does, or they call it low voltage detect in the instructions. I know you all want to know. So here's what happens. The camera will display low power like that on the screen 
when the voltage gets below the setting that you made in the configuration, like I had 3.6 volts per cell. So the low voltage detect cable may be handy for mini quads that don't have an OSD display and you want to know when your battery voltage is getting low. Might be a nice feature. So that's a wrap. We'll see you later on the tube. Here, play.